Details tonight in yesterday's stabbing outside Felix Varela High School in West Kendall. Police have made another arrest. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live at the school, and Peter Superintendent Alberto Carvalho made a visit there today. That's right, Rhoda Bay. In fact, he had some strong words when he stopped by this school. He said that there will be consequences in this case as four young people will face charges. And he also said we all must do a better job of talking to young people about responsibility and restraint. One day after the sound of police sirens at Felix Varela Senior High School when three boys are stabbed, security has stepped up. It's really crazy what happened, you know. I, I wouldn't really expect it, especially since they didn't go to our school, you know. And it's, uh, I hope it doesn't happen again. Uh, I hope they increase security. And it's, it's really wild. It's terrifying what people can do. It happened, police say, when three teens who do not attend Felix Varela came to the school for a confrontation and picked a fight with a student sitting in his car. The three teens were stabbed when a student pulled out a knife as school was being dismissed. Inside the school, like, not really, like, many people get in there like during school hours, but after school, yeah, it's pretty dangerous. Police say the teens all knew each other. This should never happen. School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho stopped by Varela and had this message. We need to continue to do a better job of speaking with our kids about respect, responsibility, and restraint in our living. Violence cannot be the answer. Police have charged a 15-year-old with possession of a weapon on school grounds. His name has been revealed, but because of his age and the circumstances, CBS4 has chosen not to identify him at this time. Questions have been raised about whether he was defending himself. The three teens who were stabbed will be charged with battery and burglary. One of their brothers, who allegedly drove them here, Matthew Moya, is charged with contributing to the delinquency of a minor. The best and most effective tool continues to be <clears throat> mental alertedness. The ability to speak with individuals about the behavior, the thoughts, the plans that some students may have. Now, two of the three staff students are believed to attend another Miami-Dade school. Meanwhile, Carvalho commended Assistant Principal Angela Holbrook and the school's police officer for both rushing in immediately to defuse the situation and prevent the fight from getting completely out of control. We are live in West Kendall. Peter Danch, CBS 4 News.